Okay, this is Mousetrap 101. So first you're going to need, this is the stuff you're going to need. A glue gun. And this is a, a tool tray, which you're going to have to cut a hole off of it right there, in front of it. And this is the lid. A marker. A piece of dowel. I use metal. A nail. And then this is the, the divider for the tools or for the, the tool tray that goes in goes in right here. You can see, and this is gonna be the hinge for it like that. Okay. And I'll and wire to and this is screw gun. Okay. Next, we're going to take the piece of dowel right here, and we're going to put it on the hinge for the door. Okay, take your glue gun, put just a little bit right here, just a little bit, it's fine. Take your dowel piece, put it on there like this. Try to make sure it's the same on both sides. Going to glue it right there. If you want to put a little bit more glue, you can, but that's just temporary to hold it. Try to make sure it's straight. Okay, once you have your your metal pieces hole right here, it's glued on there. And you have your nail. Take your box, your tool tray, which you already cut a hole. Make sure to leave a quarter inch on the bottom. Like that. Mark your holes. How you do that is when you put the hinge inside, make sure it has a flap like this inside. And you look through and you make your marks with your sharpie right here that's a that's a sharpie and you drill your holes on both sides i'm trying to drill with one hand right now I have to put the camera down for a second, but drill two holes on the side. Like this. There's one. I missed it a little bit, but that's okay. It's just for a mouse. Number two. Like this. I hold it now with the with the uh, the hand is genius. Clean out the stuff. Then you're going to take your pieces like this. See the mouse, the holes right here. I'm going to put these pieces in like this. Okay. You take your nails and you put it in a hole like this. Have to raise it up a little bit. Slide it in. Push, push the the, the chingas inside uh, the nail. Push it in. This goes right in, and the nail will go to the other side like this, and that creates the hinge for the door. Okay. Once the hinge is in, you take you take it back out and turn it so the metal is, is in the front like this. Because you don't want the mouse when he's inside 
to eat the, the metal and your thing. So now, once you put the door hinge on for the door, sometimes it's not heavy enough to slam down when the when the mouse goes inside. So you have to take a washer. I use a washer. Put it in like this and put the glue right here. Put a glue piece right here. And you glue the washer on for the, the weight of the door. So the door slam like this. Okay. Show you with the, the glue. The glues. Put a little bit right here. Towards, towards the bottom of the door, a little bit of glue. The glue is very messy. And you take the washer and put it put it on the glue. Now, if you notice, I, I glue the washer on for the weight, so now it goes like this. So when the mouse comes inside, goes inside to get the, the food, just like this. You put the food inside right here. A little bit of peanuts, peanuts butter, and maybe some some perro perro food right here. And you put a little bit of peanut butter residue right here, just a little, not enough for him to eat, but so he could smell it to go in to his defeat. Then you're going to next get two pieces of tape, and you're going to glue the top from another tray for tools for little uh, washers and stuff it's going to go on here like this that way you can access the mouse and you're going to put tape right here and right here and that way when the mouse is inside you catch it like this the mouse goes in pop, like this he cannot get out to escape no more and then when you have the live mouse inside here you have the tape which I will show in a minute and he cannot get out as you see I put the tape on for the lid and the mouse will come like this inside here catch inside the here where you will put the food and a little bit of peanut butter or perro food with peanut butter like this and the mouse will be stuck can I get out you can use enough more tape if you like depending on how aggressive the mouse is but that is a homemade mouse trap and you catch it and you can do what you like let it free or whatever you like this is mouse trap 101 very simple and easy nothing real fancy but it really works thank you and have a nice day